A microfactory is a much, much simpler process as compared to a legacy automotive manufacturing plant. A typical automotive assembly plant takes literally years to construct. We can do that whole thing in six months or less. So it's maybe one sixth the amount of time and maybe one tenth of the capex, if that. I'm getting this question like why arrival is different uh, many times and uh, I would say that actually everything is different. People, culture, technologies we are using, uh, materials, uh, components, uh, method of manufacturing. The only thing which probably similar to other companies is that our products are called van and bus, uh, but uh, everything else is uh, different. Automotive industry in the way how it is now, was developing for more than 100 years. And it was a lot of innovations and a lot of uh, optimization with the process. And today we believe that industry is on the maximum uh, level of efficiency. But what we understood today, that is not enough, because we still get vehicles which are expensive and that are not sustainable. And that's why we started the arrival in January 2015 with the idea to reinvent the way vehicles are made. And one of the things that makes our approach different is our microfactory approach to assembling and manufacturing vehicles. A microfactory is a much, much simpler process as compared to a legacy automotive manufacturing plant. A typical automotive assembly plant takes literally years to construct. We can do that whole thing in six months or less. So it's maybe one sixth the amount of time and maybe one tenth of the capex, if that. The vehicle, the way how they designed today, cannot be assembled uh, by microfactories. Vehicle must be designed to be assembled by microfactories. If you take a normal car today, only to make the body system, you need to have at least 1,000 robots. In our case, uh, all assembly process is less than 70 robots. The brief was really clear from the start. Um, how do we um, build vehicles at price parity with a conventional diesel vehicle? Now, what that means when you're putting a, a large, expensive, heavy battery into a vehicle is that you need to make the body system lighter and lower cost. If you were to take a conventional steel panel and compare it to ours, then we're less than half the weight. The materials that we're developing are thermoplastic-based composites, and we can recycle those an infinite number of times. We have far higher ductility, and what that means is um, the panel rebounds from impact. So rather than having to repair or replace, um, our panels actually survive uh, much longer out in the field, massively reducing uh, the potential repair bills for our customers. When you look at our elements components, they're modular, they're based on a 10 by 10 grid. They're stackable, they're plug and play, it's amazing. Designing our products ourselves, owning the IP, giving us the ability to upgrade that, prioritize the products that we need. It's easy installation, easy replacement, agility for the future. We invented uh, grid-based components, new material technologies to do the body systems, and a new software to manage our factories and also in-vehicle software. So if you combine all those things together, microfactories, components, uh, materials, and the software, those are enabling technologies which uh, makes it possible to make best-in-class vehicles. We always get the question, why commercial vehicles first? And it's actually because it's an underserved market. So right now you have very few vehicles that you can go and get and you're not able to do anything um, bespoke or custom with those vehicles. You get what you get. Uh, it's a market that cares about the total cost of operating, which electric vehicles enable and arrival further enhances that. And then it's a growing market. It's a large segment. There's 2 million vans by 2025, a total addressable market over 280 billion. And arrival has the best in class product. We're able to scale rapidly. 
we're able to really use the technologies to enable these customers to improve their operations. We can work with cities and customers and we can create those at any volume, uh, again, using the same micro factory. So it's a win-win on both sides. It's a perfect time for companies like us to step into this industry and actually change it. We found a way how to break the rule of uh, economy of scale. We have much better product, green product, but it also has better pricing as well. And this perfect combination where you don't need to have a compromise between being green or being efficient. So with our products, it comes together.